No seeds selected. Uh, that's right. Still need to copy that over. Let's just make sure they've all got it in them. Wait, what? Did that undo something there? What? There was something here and it's gone now. I think it was that blueprint. I'm trying, game. Stop making it hard. Okay, hey, the chlorine is settled here, which means... If we ignore the carbon dioxide, you better believe I can. Okay, it means I should probably think about what I'm doing here. Uh, I might benefit from setting up a dedicated chlorine room here which I imagine could have an airlock coming in from the top because chlorine's heavy. I probably wouldn't even have to pump out that carbon dioxide. It settles to the bottom. And then... Ooh, but there's all this coal here. I think I'd rather have a dedicated and specifically dug out room for my chlorine. And just have it be the dumping pit. How about an otated airlock right here? And then I dig out. Oh, no, no, not like that. Not like that at all. I actually don't know how big I'm going to want it, so let's just assume I want essentially this whole thing. Deconstruct and cancel. And diggy diggy. And I suppose a bit more diggy diggy. Then this just becomes the chlorine room. I doubt I'll need that much space for decontaminating stuff. But anyway, I'd set up. Um, I would set up my storage bins like so, and this would be some chlorine decontamination area. Brilliant idea, hopefully. Hmm, I hope this doesn't become a problem. In a sense, why even have a ladder going down here if it's going to stretch out this much? Can't think of a good reason, actually. Why not just have this wall meet here? Then I have loads of space for chlorine. Everybody has to hold their breath in there, but thankfully they don't, uh, they don't burn. That would blow for them. It's going to be a real problem, actually, if, uh, if they can't get in or out anymore because of this being deconstructed. So hopefully it gets deconstructed before anyone goes down there. Good. Runt. Runt. Well, 
Oh, you're on a timer. Man, why couldn't it be McCaig down there? How did that work, McCain? <laughs> okay, well, whatever, as long as people get to... Okay, no, they'd far rather do this stuff. Bye, Runt. Okay, Aki's trying to save Runt's pathetic life. Amazing. Build this barely, uh, breathe this barely breathable chlorine oxygen. Good thing I was keeping my eye on them, otherwise that would be a death right there. This is good though, the chlorine. Chlorine rises above what little carbon dioxide there is. Yeah, the carbon dioxide crushes up to more than two kilos per square there. Somebody says it's gallons and not grams. Mm, that doesn't seem right to me. Surely it's grams. Grams is a small g. I mean, who still works in gallons? Okay, the shaft is coming along nicely. Uh, after that is done, the next big one is power. I need to set up an actually half-decent power facility. And I don't really know where. Power produces heat, and it is getting warmer down here, so I should probably move it a wee bit away. But I don't have a particularly good place to do that. Like, there's no cold biome in sight. I could just move it all down here, keep it way out of the way. Oh no, my main shaft is gonna breach this. I need to move all of this along ever so slightly. Well, that's okay. Do it once now, never have to do it again. Until I need a much better and bigger hydrogen generation facility. Good, it is filling up with hydrogen. Germy hydrogen! But I don't think those germs really survive in the air. Oh man, remember when I got rid of my carbon dioxide skimmer down here? Feels like less of a non-issue now. Okay, now I don't know what I need to disinfect, or what I will ever need to disinfect, but at least we have it set up now. I mean, there's food, right? But now our food isn't so much of a problem, because we keep it nice and cold in here. Are there any germs inside here? No surface germs? Uh, oh, what? There's a germy mush bar, but the germs are dying because it's cold in there. And it's probably not a lot of germs. Are they eating the mush bars? Wait, mush bar? Mush bar is, uh... Those disgusting things. Say no to mush bar. Why did I even have that? Hopefully that'll just rot away. Of, uh, of gases as it is down here. Why couldn't that corp carbon dioxide keep the water clean? Surely it works that way as well. Right, easy way I think to do this is to build a new gas pump. Well, actually, the best way is to actually put the gas pumps up high this time. Build those there, move these along, and just rejig uh, re this. I wonder what el what other buildings can be built floating in the sky without it being an issue. 
Not many, I dare say. What does that gas setting do? What gas setting? Man, that is fast. That, however, is not. Man, all this time wasted because of bloomin' McCaig. You know, I'm so unhappy with you, McCaig. We're just gonna leave this open and have you, uh, have you suffer. Oh, this little chamber. Uh, it produces a tiny amount of power. Uh, the hydrogen generator actually produces 800 watts, but the whole room itself requires, let's see, 240 for pumping the water, 120 for electrolyzing, uh, two lots of 240 for more pumping, and 120 for filtering. So 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 720. I guess this thing has other uses, so let's not count that. 720. To um, to work everything here, 800. So an 80 watt surplus. It's tiny, but the uh, the electrolyzer also produces quite a lot of oxygen. 888. The oxygen diffuser does 500, and you know costs power. How much power? Not an. an hmm. So you're saving quite a bit. You're saving like 240 watts on that. Yeah, it's not too shabby. It does, however, produce heat and consume water, so it's not uh, its not a complete benefit. Well, let's get deconstructing again. Why did I put a bridge here? I don't need a bridge for a wall. Just as well. Yeah, the, per the water is permanently lost. Wow, we can deconstruct that through the uh, through the wall. Impressive stuff. Well, that lets me tile this up. I'm having to do all this rejigging because I didn't build for the future, but that's uh, understandable since I had no idea what the future was going to be. I think all in all, I'm quite happy with my colony, despite the immense frustration and unhappiness this game has caused me. Recht. You know, I can't help but feel I'd be better off just clear, uh, clearing out the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. Which one's ventilation? It's the one that looks nothing like ventilation. I mean, what's that image meant to be? Three puffs of smoke, maybe? Just get rid of all of it. I'll figure out what to do with it shortly. Oh, and then there's the power. Is this going to be the second or the third time that I remake this room? Unsurprisingly, there's oxygen to breathe in this room because the, uh, the electrolyzer is producing plenty of it. Just wish it produced plenty more hydrogen. I hope the hydrogen isn't popping out here. Nope, that's carbon dioxide. And we can check that using the materials overlay. A little bit of it caught there. Oh no. Don't leave me, hydrogen. I need you. Okay, how's this going to work then? Power and power. 
on on this uh, network that surely will not be overloaded. They're going to breathe in, hopefully, all this delicious hydrogen, and then they're going to pump it through, 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 through. Come on, Jake, use your head. Where is it? It'll be under ventilation. Gas filter, which again can be stuck up here, no problem. So it takes it in, needs to pump it out. Do do do. do. Uh, no, it's not R for otate, it's O for otate. <laughs> What's he thinking? What's he thinking? I forget if it's inputs can't meet or outputs can't meet, probably outputs. Anyway, the filtered gas goes into there, and the other baloney goes out to there. And I can deconstruct that wall. So far, so good. I also actually want to uproot this uh, oxyfern and place it down here. Well, just generally place it further down. It'll work fine as long as it's immersed in carbon. Preferably oxidized carbon. Or dioxidized. I don't know, I'm not a chemist. Ooh. <laughs> Runt puppy playing out there. Oh, that's actually unreachable. I would have thought you'd reach it from there. Guess I'd think wrong. There's an oxygen pipe for the base now, looks neat, yeah, and it's going to be expanded up the main shaft so I can pump my oxygen up top. I need to do something about that polluted oxygen though, it's not good for our people. Now this thing will also need its power. Why is this in purple? Because it's inactive. I guess nothing is drawing the power. This was disabled, and these are not working yet. No gas output. Okay, I thought I put. Oh, it's being built, right, of course. I think this game has a lot of reward to give its players. But you gotta learn how to play it before you can have any fun with it. And it's not making the learning fun. But, 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 I will learn it. I mean, RimWorld, that's not a terribly easy game to learn. There's a lot to it. Certainly a lot easier than something like Dwarf Fortress, though. But learning it was fun. I still think this one will be uh, rewarding. Right, you're filtering out hydrogen. Pump the hydrogen into here, please. Which I'm sure you'll eventually find. It's all floating up here. There we go. Tiny bits of hydrogen, I think. Or is that car? No, there, there's the hydrogen. Whoa, actually, it's slowing down here. Don't know what was up with that bit of clogging, but there we go. You pump out uh, 500G per S, and the game doesn't seem to want to tell you how much gas a gas pipe can handle, but I'm under the impression it's a thousand, so two to one should be okay here. If that's shown anywhere in the game, I'd love to see it. Right, any time that oxyferrin isn't working here is a, is a bad time. I think I should just plant it down here. 
but this is going to be coming down here, so, 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 so I don't know. Okay, with that, everything still seems okay. The water is being taken care of. The germ situation, unheard of. I mean, the toilets are germy, but that's that's something that happens. They will be disinfected in due time. And that's nice. The, uh, the germs in the air here die. Food poisoning just dies in oxygen, which is lovely. Food, farm tile, plunk. I know, I wish I could set it before it gets built, otherwise I just forget, but oh well. Since it's come up again, gas pipes can transmit 1 kilogram per second, fluid pipes can do it 10 kilograms per second. So Cassian, my problem isn't that those are the numbers, my problem is, where do you find that? Where in the game can I check that? You'd think the almanac would have that. I go to the almanac, I go, gas pipe, what can you do? It just says carries gas. Okay, how much gas? No, 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 no. So I don't know if the game is expecting you to play with a guide spread across your thighs. Does it want you to have the wiki open? Does it want you to try and fail and learn? I don't know what it wants, but I'm angry at it regardless. Maybe you can mouse over the pipes, like with the wires. Mm. No, it just says empty. Maybe the properties. Melting point, thermal conductivity, heat capacity, disease, temperature, age. It'll tell you the age, but not what it can uh, pump through. Bah, humbug. Losing is not fun. Suffocating. Oh, what the hell? Good thing we caught Bunny. idiot. <laughs> I thought you were going to build that, but no. Okay, McCaig. Despite being a genetic defect, you were able to overcome that logistics challenge. Good job. Alright, now somebody could please plant that oxyfern. Oxyfern was a great thing to get in the printing pod. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, now, one of the big ones i got to sort out. Power. Before I extend the shaft, I'm going to have to find a place to do all my power. Now, I've heard a lot of horror stories about slime lung, so I'm not particularly keen on going towards where all the slime is. So this seems to me to be the best place to, for now, set up a power supply station. And then I could have some kind of power boss heading along here that splits off. So... Yeah, so, so what? Um, I just stuck my oxyfern here. And I'm probably going to want to dig down or along or something. Hmm. If I build below this and I ever want to expand this, that's going to be a problem. But I think I wouldn't need to expand this directly against this. This works fine in isolation. 
I could make a bigger one elsewhere if I need to. Oh, we got oxygen in here. Ah, because we've got a bit of oxalite here. Not a lot left, but there it is. So what am I thinking? Probably going to want to expand this water as well. It's kind of a shame I've not given myself a point to go through here. But I did not. just get to digging, we'll probably be okay. I mean, they're bound to not be happy about the lack of breathable air down there, but there's plenty more over here. Check if slime lung can live in the atmosphere here. Alright, so there's slime lung... Inhibited by gas, killed by oxygen, so it can't exist in the oxygen. But I, I read quite a bit about this slime lung stuff. But I can't remember what it was. Something about you breathe it in, it affects your immune system and you die. Where's my oxygen? Oh, right, I need to actually select plant. Okay, hey, Neggy's around. Oh, what a splash he's making. I love the animation for them jumping two tiles across and one tile up. Alright guys, it's break time. Grab some food, grab some sleep. Uh, my combustible ore has actually gone up. Assuming that's all coal. It is. I guess I got it all from here, right? How much of that coal is sitting on the ground? I wouldn't know. Balm lily flower. Medicinal. I haven't had to worry about medicine at all. I can't believe this, though. They're washing their hands with filth water. The water that's going in there, does it actually show me that? Contains all this food poisoning water. And it cleans them. Were you meant to inherently get this? Do oxygen not included players just have this vast intellect that I could never hope to, ma to meet? Oh, so Jake is pumping in filth water. Even the game works like that. Feels cheesy to use that fact. Yeah, well my clean water was running out and I germed up all this with clean water. So my options were... Well, I had options, right? There's plenty of polluted water out here that I could sieve into non-germy water. But eventually it's going to go through the cycle and end up here, so I would have to disinfect it. Probably using this chlorine. I imagine I could pump it in uh, and the chlorine would disinfect it, like it disinfects stuff in the storage bin. It's hard to be sure. Okay, just how much time are they spending uh, commuting? Where are my reports here? Okay, travel time is like 50% of what they're doing, but that makes sense. They are wandering around doing a lot of this junk. What was the cold blue thing on your basis temperature view? Was it the brine? Yeah, for some reason this brine is really cold. Not only that, but this mush bar is really... Oh, it popped out of the fridge, of course. So that'll be that. Okay, when they breach through here, they'll actually have breathable air, so I'm not too worried about them getting exhausted. That's one thing I got! When sand drops down, it automatically gets a dig thing placed on top of it, so you don't have this problem where it... Uh, it buries something, and then that goes unnoticed for forever. Do you have water tank technology? Probably. Liquid valve, liquid shut off, liquid pump. Mm, well, maybe not. I'm going to guess it's under liquid somewhere. Distillation. Ooh, I might want that for salt. Or briny, watery stuff. Or scrubber seems like a waste of time. 
Don't any of these allow you to hold a body of water? I guess it would be liquid reservoir. Come on, just a little bit more. We'll dig out oxalite. It'll be the first time I actually have some of that, because I don't think I ever dug it out before. But it's not doing us any good there, right? So have at. Nice and soft. Out it goes. How you use oxalite, I just don't know. But maybe someday I will. Go and grab all the stuff there. Oxyfern, choose up. I wonder how I get more oxyfern. Maybe it can only come in through, um, through a delivery. Right. Right, 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 right. Given how people can reach, I probably want a nice 4x4-ish thing here with a bit more uh, laddering going on. Diggy, diggy. I don't really have any clue what I'm doing, but I'm just setting up a nice area that could surely be used for power generation down the line. I forget, how high up can they build things? They can't go three above their head now, can they? Or can they? Unreachable build. Hmm. Hmm. Do I want things to be four high? How big do these buildings get? What are some of the bigger things I have? Power Transformers 2. That thing's 3 high. 3 high. Do we get anything that's 4 high? Maybe 3 high is plenty. So maybe I could make do with that. Maybe. We'll see. The shower is 4 high. Ooh, that's true. Makes it kind of difficult to build something above it if you really want it. Okay, give it to me good. Fried mushrooms. Sure, give it. Again, I'm not interested in more people. I'm interested in a well-stocked refrigerator, and we certainly have that. Hopefully any carbon dioxide that comes out here will actually fall into this pit before it sieves over into here, because I want that oxyfern working. Anytime the oxyfern is not working, I'm wasting free passive oxygen generation. A tiny amount of it, sure, but it really gobbles... Oh wait, there's micrograms per second. Yes, micrograms. So I learned how to count from uh, Transformers the movie. <laughs> Doctors in here saying there's only one thing worse than excessive back seating, and that's smug back seating. <laughs> Jeez. Ah, that's why I like forcing people uh, from the chat to stream themselves, because then they have to go through it. And sometimes it's not pretty. I'd just much rather have these tiles be four high, even if they can't do that. Because I want to dig this thing down there anyway. So here's the thought, what if I just give them... what's faster, tiles or ladders? Mm, tiles seem cheaper. 
if I build them um, with, say, two between them, is that okay? What if there's three between them? And what if there is four? How much can they reach of this? Okay, that's still an unreachable dig, so we need quite a bit of um, quite a bit of ladders to get up there. It's not a problem though. They can be two apart, I suppose. Oh, that one's already built, really. Hmm. Damn it, McCaig. <laughs> You're such a walking disappointment. <laughs> okay, we'll live. What do you think of this game? Is it your next RimWorld? This does not shine a candle to RimWorld. You engage in the systems in RimWorld and you have fun. You engage in the systems in this game and you're just engaging the systems. So I'm very, very unimpressed with it. However, we're still here, aren't we? So that's got to count for something. Nice to see people actually working instead of commuting. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what are other people doing? Runt Puppy is still the one punching rather than Brute Queen. Which is strange to me because Runt Puppy is only level one in machinery. Whereas Brute Queen is considerably higher. I haven't sorted out my priorities at all, so uh, that's on me. Truth be told, I don't want to set out the priorities. I take one look at it and just go, I'm going to do more harm than good with this thing. Oh yeah, still better than Space Colony. That's a given. Man, what a, what a heap of ass that game was. So the whole point of the area that I'm digging out here, and I've not yet finished digging out here, is to be my power generation facility. How it's going to work, not all that sure, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. Just want to leave myself lots of space for it. This is very fun though, digging this stuff out, or rather telling me people to dig this stuff out and watching them get to work. It's a good feeling. I think I'd benefit from digging down a little more so that all the carbon dioxide can fall down here. Jake, was there a time when you didn't like a game at first but ended up liking it after putting more and more hours into it? Oh, gorillions of them. Uh, let me think, Europa Universalis for one. I remember firing that up, playing a wee bit of Scotland, and just going, what the hell is this? Frankly, I never quite figured out how most people got over that, uh, that hump. GSGs are... well, there's just so much to them. for you. I need to build a, a bit over the top here for people. I'm sure there are other games but they're not coming to mind right now because I'm busy trying to play this one. Hey, this one might end up being one of the uh, one of the bigger cases of that. Okay, but it's down time for our hard workers here. Which grand strategy game would you have people start with? Probably CK. It's the easiest. Uh, it's the most accessible. It's the most relatable. What 
wonder if there's any point at all in having a shower operational. You know what, I will re-enable it so people can go and take a shower. Although why they would ever want to or need to is beyond me, they got plenty of morale. Not raw, achievement unlocked. Mm -hmm. Have a duplicate eat any cooked meal prepared in an electric gill or gas range. Excuse me. Is that you? I destroyed my grill before I grilled anything. Lice loaf. Lice loaf, bristleberry, muck root, pepper nut. Hmm. Okay. Oh yeah, the fried mushrooms that I got. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, thank you, duplicator, for unlocking the achievement for me. Right, McCaig, could you conceptually not be useless? I could make him carry more things. I do like lots of carrying. Yeah, you can just be the pack mule. Most people are. I think that's really good. You could actually join on being able to research, Muley. But you're strong, and you're not a scientist, or not much of one. So instead, get stronger. What does it take for people to be really happy? Also, fried mushroom isn't going in here. Why? Ah, bollocks. I should... Okay, here's the problem. I say take everything that's edible. Oh, but not the mush bars. Then when something new gets added, it won't be ticked off, because it only shows things that you know about in these lists. I'm going to go out on a limb and assume that there's a mod for that. Because right now you're just sitting here, probably gathering a load of ju well, surprisingly not, but rotting away nonetheless. Oh yes, Dolores is a nice and easy entry point. Or at least it was when I played it. I have not touched Dolores since its updates. It doesn't hold a lot of appeal for me, right? I'm not into sci-fi at all. That's not to say I don't play sci- uh, I don't play games that aren't sci-fi related. I mean, here you're, you're on some foreign planet in the future. Or foreign asteroid. But as a theme, it doesn't hold any sway for me. Mush. <laughs> kick off that germy water. Well, there's a thought. The germs don't seem to stick from them if they go into the germ-infested water. I suppose that's for the better. Otherwise, I might go and infect my probably clean water. Is it at 40-something degrees? No, it's 47 kilos. That's fine, then. Because bristle blossom needs to be at... Uh, well, below 30 degrees. And these, li these lights do emit heat. In fact, some of these bristle blossoms are uncomfortably warm. It's getting warmer in the base. It's seeping through. Does the Lars Endgame run anymore? It was so, it was so slow. Tragically slow. But I don't know. Oh, right, there's a thought. This liquid vent uh, still needs to drip through. So I think what I will do is I'll actually have these be mesh tiles to allow that liquid to flow through. <laughs> Kaladin taking the path less traveled. I wonder if and where I'll find a cold biome. Oh, well, that'll be a cold biome. You can tell from all the coldness. And then there's something cold going on here with neuterim. Mysterious, extremely resistant metallic element. Cannot be excavated. Oh, what use is that? 
I think uh, after I've sorted out my power and my shaft issues, I'm going to dig out to the cold over there and see how we can exploit it. Oh shoot, I was meant to build my manual airlock over here because I was sick of all the... Uh, oh, here's the... I wanted to contain the polluted oxygen here. Instead, it all just floated up here. Why is there hydrogen up here? Where did that come from? Okay, this is dug out, so my uh, my carbon dioxide should flow down here. Wonderful. You know, I might not have to change this very much. I only need to move you along and we're okay. Come to think of it, did I even... L yeah, I did link you up. Where do you even get your power from? Uh, the hydrogen generator powers all this stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh yeah, I also still have this thing operational. But I still want to move my power generation over here. So essentially, get working. Kaladin wants me to try digging towards the uh, the neutronium. Or was it again? There it is. Mysterious. Extremely resistant. It's just four blocks of it. What do you do then? You have uh, an impossibly high melting point. No heat conductivity, no thermal conductivity. Your solid, special, no germs. 20 tons of it? Interesting. Well, it's en route towards the cold stuff, right? Yeah, it is. Good. We'll check it out in due time. Are the crawling bugs useful or dangerous? I don't think the creatures are in any way dangerous in this game. I haven't found any that are. He just kind of crawls around. Good on him. I could rear them for um, for the cloth off their back and eat them for their meat, but I don't see food generation as a problem. In fact, the only problem is that we have too much of it. It's piling up on the fridge. I got too many calories, but I don't want to build another fridge. I'm tempted to actually, once these things grow, not replant them so they stop drinking all my water. and then just eat away some of my food before we uh, continue on. Mm, come now, get that carbon down here. Let the oxygen flow up to the top where it's needed. And then once we have all this dug out, it's main shaft o'clock. Well, after I do the power stuff, but I, I don't know at all what I'm looking for with this power. Um, at all. I might have a problem here. No, no, I can build the power lines up to here, and then from building it into the tile, I can do it from up here. How do I even build a power facility? Like a proper one. With what I have, of course, which is coal generation. It's also a wee bit of way to go and refuel this way, but uh, it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I could just have a bunch of coal generators here. Let's look, uh, stick them close enough to the center so they're not too much of a problem for anyone. So one, two, three, four, five coal generations, because they'll be smart. And they will pump into this super smart battery. Hmm, no, because I'm going to want a bunch of transformers. Power management in disguise. You output a thousand, you output four kilowatts. Ah, man. Overheat, heat. 
pumps out heat. Does it pump out more heat than a power generator? No, no, no. Far less than it. Invalid construction position there. Hmm. So, perhaps the smart battery should be put over here. And then I have... What do I need to build these transformers anyway? Yeah, I've actually invested in the copper situation, should, should, so it should be okay. I can build three of these and then loop them into some kind of power bus, which will have to be expanded in the future. I don't know how and where the base is going to expand, but uh, problem for future Jake. My question is, do I just want one smart battery, or do I want multiple smart batteries? The way I see it, if these things are full of power and smart, I shouldn't need more than one. Why would I need more than one, right? More than one is just more... Uh... Hmm... No, one should be fine. How could it possibly not be fine? Maximum power 50 kilowatts. Extremely uh, hefty stuff. That should be a pretty massive load for you guys, but you're going to transform it out, right? As long as we have some... Intelligent. Oh yeah, well I guess uh, load only counts for how much it's being pooled though. But these are each going to pool quite a bit. So maybe I need quite a lot of this stuff. <sighs> oh, that's expensive. That gets real expensive. Maybe I should use some other kind of not so extremely expensive wire. Whew. I can upgrade this wire later. There's no need to feature-proof myself that much. Okay, heavy, heavy wire stuff here. 20 kilowatts. I'm not going to be doing anything near that anytime soon. Problem here, but that's what you're for. Carries more wattage than regular wire without overloading. Can be run through floor tiles. So what I could do is rotate you like so. Ah, I gotta get a mod that allows me to just build over these tiles. Having to deconstruct and then remember to come back later is anti-fun. <laughs> Aki's talking about how good sleep is. Ain't it just? Alright, McCaig, if you can stop sneezing for five seconds, you get rid of that for me. And then we build our heavy water. Power connectors cannot overlap. Uh, of course they can't. And then the smart battery will go here. You know, why even have the tile? Right? Why not just do this? I doubt anyone's going to freak out over having to jump across that every now and then. Plus it gives an opportunity for anything to go, well, no, here's a thought. If the heat comes out and rises up here, it could be a bit of a problem. Well, whatever. Heat isn't a problem right now. Maybe it'll never be. The heavy watt wire should go into the top connection of the transformer. Low power output should be the bottom one. <sighs> You're right, we were even told this and I managed to forget. Can it be otated? Ah, oh, thank god for that. Hmm, bit of a shame, but okay. Man, that is slaughtering my copper ore. 
And I'm going to need... Uh, all right, the conductivity wire isn't too shabby. Oh, problem. Perhaps a solvable problem? Yeah. Okay, I don't like that, but oh well. Could also be run through the ground, I guess, but I want it to go uh, up and above. Thing is, you're a power generator as well, hydrogen generator. And I want you to also feed into this. I mean, granted, you feed your system just fine. Mm. Just fine. But I'd still rather you fed into the system here and then everything else came out of these. So perhaps I could take, your con uh, take this conductive wire and just plug it into here. Would it work that way? No, I'd probably need some more of my heavy watt wire coming through. Duk, 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 duk. Probably. Probably. I hope these work in series. I can't imagine why it wouldn't. The downside here is I'm going to cut off my power. So I should solve that pretty swiftly by doing a bridge up here. And there we go. There, a lot to be built, so get building. Sadly, it uses my lovely, um, my lovely crushed copper ore. Does he have enough coal production for all these generators? Not really. Coal is finite. But I will certainly want to move my storage bin of coal down here. How are we doing for coal, anyway? If I look at materials, minerals, that is granite, consumable ore, unknown. Something's behind a security door here, interesting. Coal, lots of coal, more coal, even more coal. The coal lasts us until we get better uh, setups, I'm sure. And no, Negi, I've not found an animal that eats CO2 to make oil. I've heard of it, though, so it's not going to surprise me too much when we do find it. Downtime, insufficient oxygen. When is there not? I think the oxygen generation's fine. Plenty to breathe here. And even if it started going down, we have so much oxygen. It's kind of cool. Polluted oxygen just making a bit of a... Hmm? Oxygen? Polluted oxygen? What makes this barely breathable? Pressure difference? I don't know. At least it's nice and fast to build these heavy, heavy watt wires and they look kind of cool. Colony lacks electrical engineering skill. Oh. Electrical engineering skill. Who's our tinkerer? Well, Brute, I already leveled you up not too long ago.
What were the warning signs of that? There's nothing saying here that you need a certain level of skill for it. It doesn't say on the skill thing that this enables you to uh, to build those. Mm. Go for the heavy watt joint plate instead. Uh, probably. Unless that can't be built without a certain skill. Uh, right. Cancel you. Power... There we go, that works just as well. That feels like one of the traps in the game that you're meant to learn through losing on. I wonder what else I'm going to stumble across and have, uh, have myself be told, oh, you can't do that, you don't have this skill. Ah. This game makes me so angry to play. It's unusual. I'm not one for getting angry at games. Has he served to solve his germy water problem? Yes, yes I have. By accepting the fact that I have germy water. It's somehow all come together. Gonna make a bigger place for it here though. All right, sleep time, everyone. This light setup is working wonders, so I'm probably going to change these ceiling lights out. How much heat do you dump? 500, 500. Okay, so the lamps are better in almost every way to the ceiling light. It'll also allow me to bring this roof down a bit and save me room up top. Come on, everyone. Well, there's a problem. Franco's busy working that. I guess it's not a huge problem, right? Uh, keeping the power flowing until I set up a better situation here. Can't be all that bad. Let's copy that setting over here. And then you grab the coal as well. This probably shouldn't be disinfected. It's going to get infecty all the time anyway. Not really sure what to do with my polluted dirt currently. I don't like all the polluted oxygen that it gives out. But we can turn polluted oxygen into good oxygen, so... Is it... Maybe it's not a problem to have all this dirt lying around, unless it consumes oxygen. Well, barely, barely puts out any, actually. Maybe it's better than all that polluted dirt ends up in here. Plenty of space for it. Yeah, forget that. Doesn't need it. Just shove it over here. I think you can refine polluted dirt into something useful. I can turn it into actual dirt. But I'm not setting that up right now because I don't see a need for it right now. I'm kind of busy trying to get this to work. And kind of wondering why people aren't getting to work on it. Plenty of things to be built. I guess having to work in a place with no air is a bit of a problem. There we go. Getting it delivered. Getting it built. That's not all I need though, right? I will need automation wire to plug into here and tell these suckers 
when to work and when not to work. Alright, it takes quite a bit of time to build this, doesn't it? There we go! Look at you go. And that should allow you to work and you to work. Except we're not getting much hydrogen out here. I mean, these things should always be working, it's just that the pressure here is too high. So when I build up the shaft, I'm going to shove the, the, the pipe work up there. But first I need to migrate the power. I'm still quite surprised that uh, the carbon dioxide is piled up here. thought it would be going down here a lot more. But my severe lack of a skimmer is probably a big part of the problem there. I did get rid of it some time ago. No water. But I have a water pump right here. Or pitcher pump, rather. Actually, there's a thought. I wasn't aware that you actually needed water. Irrigation, 19 kilos per cycle. It would probably be better for me to link you up so people don't have to manually do this. But I'll worry about that later because this is not your final resting place. Actually, that's a pretty bad place for you, all things considered. This was the pit, now this is more of a pit. So actually plonking you down here would be for the best. Anything specific you found especially useful, says Moves P. Ah, eh, hard to... Okay, the biggest thing was not worrying about germy water. I saw this and thought it was a huge problem. And why wouldn't I, right? My, my big source of clean water is all germy. That's going to be a problem for my guys. Well, no, it's not a problem unless they actually uh, use the water in the food. That was the big one for me. Knowing that I could actually use germed water to wash hands and wash toilet and wash entire body with the shower, uh, that really changed everything. Otherwise, I would still be uh, really trying to figure out how to disinfect my water. When, in fact, you don't have to. It doesn't matter at all. That was a really big one. Another big one, I suppose, was uh, seeing this shaft design of three wide. I like that a lot. Easy up and down and movement of, uh, of stuff. And also seeing how chlorine works. How you were meant to fathom that this is a way to use chlorine in the game, I have no idea. It's already a pain for me in games like RimWorld where you just make an entire room and chill the room rather than having a refrigerator. At least this game has a fridge. Yeah, okay, there's the thing. This game has fridge, but if you want to dechlorinate something, you put it into a room full of stuff? Why? Just why? But learning that, I think, helps me out in a big way. A little bit of food poisoning now and then never killed anyone? Well, exactly. But I still don't want people getting sick from eating it. Uh, there we go, fridge is all full now. I need to slow down with the food production. At least those bristle berries can just sit around and not do anybody that uh, much harm. Right, these things are going to really chug out the carbon. Putting the dye in carbon dioxide. So I am thinking of reinstating my skimmer. I could just shove it down here, it could easily take it off of the grid. In fact, if I put you down here and put a bit of irrigated uh, hydro well hydroponics down here. No, I don't like where I put you at all. Let's have a look at the carbon dioxide. It's not actually piling down here as fast as I thought it would. But maybe that's because it's already fairly dense with the stuff? Mm, I don't know. In any case, there shouldn't be much more coming from up here. So I do expect it will generate and then just fall down here. So yeah, this will be where it goes, clearly. So, so, so. Carbon Skinner. Skinner? 
hydroponic. It's a bit of a trek for the liquid. Just a bit. Wait, don't you need it as well? Yeah, you take that filth water as well. Uh, pumps out nasty, nasty water though, doesn't it? It'll also need power. Is that unreachable build? Shouldn't be. No, that should be fine. This is the costly one, though. Very costly. There we go. that people shouldn't have to go down and keep dealing with it once it's done I should think about about how this is all going to connect like which is going to connect to which system if I look at uh, if I look at the power overlay we have this one. Potential load is tiny. I could merge these two together and the loads would be okay. Wouldn't give me that much leeway for building more, but it would be fine if I just built a, another... Um... Hmm. No, if I build more I can always add a, uh, use the other transformer here. So yeah, I can happily merge these systems. I need to upgrade the the wiring on all of it, but that's something I plan on doing anyway. Actually, what I could do is deconstruct all of this. These things don't need light anymore, nor do they deserve it. save me power and save me some heat. I don't think one carbon skimmer is enough for all those generators. Well, one was enough for the two generators that we had here. So surely one plus my little algae thing. Not algae. Um, my little oxifern. Plus, you know, I'm digging them out lovely places to just dump this carbon. If it's a problem, it's a problem that'll come and bite me in the rear end in the future. But not right now. Sooner this is operational, the sooner I get the main shaft going. I'm looking forward to that main shaft. It's still not getting hotter inside here. But maybe that's not where the problem rises. Maybe the problem rises from the subtle rise of temperature within the base. This stuff probably isn't far enough away to uh, to get rid of the problem. What is this? Neural vacillator? Vis Massive synthetic brain. Nice decor. No database entry available. 
I can only assume that if I put someone there, they get big brains somehow. Send a dupe over there and find out, said Desha. Well, maybe just curiosity is a motivator for some people, but not for me. I wonder if these bristle blossoms are, will die as they are. Deconstruct both of these. Wait, I thought I deconstructed you. No, that was in the power, uh, the power view, so that wouldn't be enough. There, plenty of building work for people to do, so get to it. How is morale not a problem? We've not even had a bit of stress. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, that's just my cake. Nobody cares about my cake. Trouble is, how do you recognize a problem, says Modo? Can Jake tell how badly he messed up some future base system? Nope. No, I cannot. Best I can do is an educated guess. Right, low threshold at 5. High threshold at 100. So you'll tell these people to work. When... Uh, when you're anything short of 100. No. No, no, no. When you're short of 5, you turn them on. When you're at 100, you turn them off. A lot of the tips I was saying was hammering home, you know, build this thing out of gold, build that thing out of gold, build everything out of gold. I'm like, I don't have any gold. I guess the gold is stuff like this. Well, I ain't there yet. Perhaps if I dug more aggressively, then I'd certainly have those things, but if I dug more aggressively, I'd also have slime and polluted water and additional heat. I don't have the know-how to dig aggressively. Okay, well, how do I drain you but not fill you up at all? Never do that if you can avoid it, please. Actually, maybe if I get rid of it, I get my coal back. Hey, didn't think of that, did I? I doubt I get the power back out of the smart batteries, but I bet I get the coal back from the generator when I destroy them. Just reach your hand in there and get that burning hot coal. That oh, takes forever to, to destroy. That's a huge difference between this and, say, Factoria, right? Factoria, you can certainly learn from your mistakes. Undoing your mistakes doesn't even take a second. In this, you make a mistake, you got to redesign your base, and it will take these dupes time. Quite a lot of time. Dare I say, agonizing amounts of time. Even in RimWorld, destroying things is real fast. But this... I don't know why they're firing things at it to deconstruct it, but... There's a lot of things I clearly don't know. Okay, good, it did drop the coal. I can see it under Franco there. Coal, 104 kilos of. Excellent. I still have plenty of combustible materials. And now I can say that we don't need coal here. In fact, I could probably just get rid of the thing. Just deconstruct this building whenever uh, suits. I wonder if these smart batteries are taking power off of this grid now. Yeah, they probably are. Okay, we don't like these smart batteries anymore. Get rid of them.
I fear that I uh, I assigned something else to be just no it looks like it didn't okay it'll probably be fine and if it's not fine we'll fix it god I love having that huge capacity for carrying tons of coal moved in a heartbeat oh god in not quite a heartbeat getting these things deconstructed wait what are you It's a funny face on the wire. Can I interest you in water mixing into your heavy oil lines? Uh, fluid mixing was never a problem. In fact, I don't think I have ever mixed my fluids in Factorio. So I struggle to imagine how somebody would have a problem there. Jake, your plants got taken out. Eh. You probably mean the power here. I wouldn't be surprised if quite a bit of power died there. Yeah, that's right. So I cut you off. In fact, I never actually put you together. So all of my power went out. The fridge is probably the biggest problem there. The oxygen production. A very distant second. But what I was asserting was that that's enough power for this, and there's plenty of power for you, right? Potential load is tiny. So all I have to do is link these up. Easy. Conductive wire. Do, 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 do. I love to build redundancy in power systems, but I can't help but feel that's not necessary here. Sorry, storage bin, but you're going to have to drop your goodies too. Oh, they're going to drop far down. Well, it sucks to be you. That main shaft is going up. Yeah, rock crusher's not a problem. It's part of the system. So when it's linked up... Oh, well, I guess I need to continue with my linking up. But when I link it all up, it'll be good. Right. Do I still want to keep you separate? Yes, I think I do. I really think I do. stuff that's just kind of wasting away there. I'm tempted to just get rid of it. I can always build it up later if it's still needed. But I really don't like it right now. I want to neaten up my, um, my cables here a lot. I think I'll even trim off this. I feel like there's a problem in what I'm doing here. If you come out, I think I want you to go up along here and spread out to the left rather than do any of this higgledy piggledy. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, that should be good. And that should link everything together, and if it doesn't, I'll fix it. Not sure if necessary, but at least it's future proof, says C Fusion. Oh, in terms of the buffing. Yeah, well, what can I say? Makes sense to me. Now, this smart battery hemorrhages power. Wait, what was that about slime? I know I saw slime on you. Why 
is there slime? Why is there slime? I mean, the slime doesn't come off of these things. Or does it now? Oh, it does enter that. It does. Slime lung. Slime lung dies in air, so that's not a problem. Okay. Where does slime lung not die? Polluted oxygen. So as long as I make sure there's no polluted oxygen here, the slime lung is nice and benign. No problem. No problem. Okay, great, Oxfern Seed is out, and Oxfern Seed belongs in here. <laughs> Bunny's taking to the manual generation. Evans knows we need it. Right, what do we have? Pips, coal, or losers? Come to me, coal. 